So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Looks like we have here a couple of right triangles, right? So there's a very short list of things that I need to know about right triangles, like Sokotoa, um, uh, Pythagorean theorem, things of that nature. Special right triangles, 3, 4, 5, 30, 60, 90, 45, 45, 90. So let's see what pops up for this particular question. So the question says triangle QPR is similar to triangle STR. Okay, so that means that this side is similar to this side, this side is similar to that side, and this side is similar to this side. I know I'm using these tick marks, which usually means congruent, but maybe, in fact, maybe I should not use those. I don't want to get anyone confused. We just have some similarities, right? So what I do like to do is draw the triangles in the same orientation when I know that they're similar. So I'd have Q, P, R, where this is X, this is my 90, and then I'd have in the exact same orientation, right? So flipping it in the opposite direction than it is originally, I have S, T, and R with, again, my X degrees over there. All right, now things are in the right order, so it's obvious to see which sides are corresponding to each other. So triangle QPR is similar to triangle STR. The lengths represented by ST, QP, PR, and QR in the figure are 14, so 14 for ST, 15 for QP, 20 for PR, PR is 20, okay, and 25 for QR, 25, okay. What is the length of SR? All right, so I, I kind of see exactly what to do here. Again, because I've already thought about the fact that there might be special right triangles here, I'm always looking for that. So I can see that if I were to divide each of these things by 5, I would get 3, 4, 5, meaning it's a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Um, how does that help me? I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's see how that helps me. So I want to figure out SR. So realistically, that actually doesn't help all that much. Let's get back. Let's backtrack. We're going to just go straight for the proportionality statement here instead of dealing with the special right triangle. Uh, okay, so this is 15, 25, and 20. So what's my proportionality statement? I'm going to say 15 over 14, right? So that's the ratio of these two corresponding sides. Should be equivalent to 25 over, let's just call it A, right? Because that's the side that I want to find, over A, which is side SR, by the way. All right, so then how do I solve that? I cross multiply. So 15 times A is 15A. I go to my calculator. What is 14 times 25? Let's see, I get 14 times 25 is 350. I can then divide both sides by 15. And I see that while I could simplify, I don't, it doesn't seem that I need to because my answer choices here actually contain 350 over 15, which is choice A.